Alright guys, today's post is going to start off with a little bit of a flashback, just to get you up to speed. There it goes. New owners made a 10 hour trip to get here. I think it was more like 11. Palm Beach, Florida. All right, guys, have a good one. How are you doing, man? Thank you. All right. There she goes. All right, guys, shade tree surgeon maybe didn't make me do it, but he sure planted the seed in my head to get it done. What's up, Rito? Shade tree surgeon here, and today I'm headed out to buy the cheapest six cylinder gold wing on Craigslist. When you're talking about motorcycles, $1,500 usually doesn't get you very far, but when you're talking about 1980s gold wings, $1,500 will get you hundreds of thousands of miles and a really awesome bike. After the two gentlemen left that bought my Yamaha, that was on Saturday, a week ago. I decided it's time to get another bike. So I jumped on Facebook and looked around and sure enough there was four bikes for sale. And I picked four of them. Got in touch with all the owners and found out that each owner was almost exactly four and a half hours away. Found two in Alabama and two in Louisiana. And I live in Mississippi for y'all that don't know. So I was thinking, wow, that's a long drive. And the one that I really wanted, uh, the guy couldn't get back to me until after lunch. So I was thinking, man, that's going to be a late night. And didn't really want to drive a new bike home late at night. So I ended up texting him, and he texted me back. And we got the deal done around 10 o'clock. Guess where he lived? Enterprise, Alabama. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. That's right. I'm a Star Trek fan, so that means I had to go. No! So I talked the wife into it, and she was more than willing to go. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Let's go on an eight-hour road trip on a Sunday afternoon. Seemed like we left around lunchtime, heading that way. Beautiful sunny day on Highway 84, twisty, curvy road, and I thought, man, this is going to be great. Get to drive the bike back home and follow the wife and it'd be a great road to ride down so we get to enterprise and this guy lives out in the country so a bunch more windy roads we finally meet up at a small church i knew from the second i saw the bike it was the bike for me but he let me take it out for a test ride and it did just what it was supposed to do except for the hill shifter i'll explain that later rode it down the road a mile or two and rode it back and we're ready to go the wife and I took off and I was following her because I really didn't have any kind of GPS or navigation and had no clue where I was at. First hour went fine. Uh, it was hot. The windshield blocks everything. But the second hour, it started pouring rain. So for about an hour, my wife kept driving past every gas station and everything. She had my rain suit. Well, Michael, if you ever think about getting married, if you ever think you've met the right woman, you want to settle down, change your life, you do me a favor, Mike? Remember this face. Because if you get married, Mike, that's going to be your fucking face every day. Well, after an hour, we stopped at a gas station. And sure enough, I was bone dry. Not a drop of rain had hit me. I couldn't believe it. Now, I will say 84 has no stop signs. I mean, you're straight there. I think it has two stop signs, but I coasted right through them. So I never got any water on me. The windshield's massive and the fair and shoot. So when I got off at the store, the wife was totally blown away that I was not dripping. I didn't even want to put a rain jacket on the rest of the way home, but she insisted. So I did. Ah! 
And the rest of the three hours, uh, it rained pretty hard, lots of lightning, but the bike did everything it was supposed to do. And we made it all the way to the house just before dark, and it was a pretty massive storm when we got here. But yep, when I got off, I was completely dry, even though I did have the rain jacket on, just not the pants. Well, my legs never got wet or my shoes. And that's pretty amazing because I remember on the Harley days I'd get soaked in just a sprinkle. But anyhow, let me show you what I got. The wait is over. Here's what I got. It's a 2003 Honda Goldwing. And she's a beauty. Thing already comes with the foot pegs which I definitely wanted definitely got to adjust them though I haven't adjusted them yet that's probably gonna be tomorrow's job it'll be Father's Day tomorrow and I think I'm gonna get out here and adjust the uh, foot pegs they're a little close and low for me I'm just a bit taller than the other guy cup holder I like but I'm going to probably go with the Serio big ass cup holder. So I had that on my Harley and I loved it. I was really surprised when I bought this bike. I called the guy and he sent me a video on it. But the paint is really flawless. I'm surprised. I mean, this is almost a 20 year old bike. And it, uh, there's really not a nick on it. And it runs perfectly. There was actually three of these bikes up for sale. I sold my Yamaha on Saturday. And Sunday I found three of these on Facebook. And they were all in the $6,000 to $8,000 range. Paid $6,500 for this one. I don't think I could be any happier. The guy had just put new tires on it and a new battery. So it's uh it's in great shape. I think the only blemish on it is a small dent right here. And that's it. Everything else looks factory. The only thing I don't like, and I'd never seen it before. Kind of curious if any of y'all had. He's a big hill shifter, which I know a lot of y'all use the hill shift. I never used it at all on my Harley. But this one blocks your foot completely. You cannot get your toe up under here. So you can only press down and he'll shift back. But this was an add-on he put on here. So I'm going to take that off also tomorrow. So I can get my toe up under there. I didn't know they made such a thing. I don't know why they would make it where you can't get your toe up under it, but you can't. But anyhow, besides that, it's in great shape. The trunk is full of stuff. So I'm fixing to clean it out. I think he threw in a couple of Harley Davidson bags. He did. Uh, looks like all the parts and stuff that came on. Of course, here's my gym stuff. I've been riding it to the gym. So I'm going to go through it. You got the tool bags with it. Everything's here. Get that emptied out. Saddle bags, they're empty, so that's good. Let me show you one more thing he did throw in in the deal, which I didn't, he didn't even tell me about until we got uh, just ready to leave. Yeah, 
go in two brand new saddlebags and the piece that goes in between that holds the tag he said when he bought the bike when he bought the bike a friend of his had the same bike but was turning it into a trike so with the trike of course you don't have the saddlebag so the guy pulled them off and gave them to him in case he ever wrecked his bike or something and he's just been storing them ever since so I ended up with them and me being an eBayer uh, they're gonna go up on eBay so if anybody's looking for a 2003 saddlebags for their bike let me know more money more money more money I forgot to mention he actually even had a uh, Kuryakin bag mounted I didn't find any hundred dollar bills or nothing in here and trust me I searched uh, this came with it which is very nice but I've been using this to store my helmet which is my favorite thing of all that's one of the main reasons I wanted to go wing so I'd have a place to put my helmets but I want to clear this completely out and maybe just keep the tools in here so I'll have room for two helmets happens when the post office is closed on Mondays. More packages to bring up here. You know what that means? More money, more money, more money! <laughs> My wife hadn't ridden it yet. Uh, mainly because I'm kind of iffy with this hill shifting. Just trying to break a habit of riding for 20 years and always using a toe shifter. But after tomorrow, I'll have that removed and we'll be good to go. Can't say anything bad about the bike. On my way home, when I left Enterprise, Alabama, we had about an hour ride in the sunshine. And then it poured rain the rest of the way home. Well, I was following my wife and didn't have any way to communicate with her because I don't have any of that thing set up yet. And she uh we stopped at a gas station about an hour into the ride and i promise you when i got off the bike i was completely dry i tucked my legs up behind here and with this monster windshield trust me on this even a guy under six foot five not a drop of rain hit you and we happen to be on highway 84 which has no stop signs or stop lights so i stayed completely dry and didn't even want to put my jacket on. Luckily I brought it with me. And so I ended up putting the uh, rain jacket on at the store and I didn't even put the pants on. And when I got home, it was two hours later, I was completely dry. So one thing about the go wing is true. You don't get wet, as long as you're moving, of course. If you stop, you get wet. But uh, as long as you keep moving, you're doing good. You're going to be seeing a lot of videos on this because now I've got something I can put some distance on. Her five-year mission? To explore strange new worlds. To seek out new life and new civilizations. To boldly go where no one has gone before. Oh, and the bike did have 30,000 miles on it when I bought it. Maybe it was 36, I can't remember. It's kind of bright. <laughs> Yeah, 30,000 miles on it. And it runs great. Everything works. I'm kind of glad I did turn it on and you got to hear the radio. That's the one thing I am going to upgrade on. Because this thing really now just has AM, FM radio. I mean, it's got the auxiliary and all that, but it doesn't have Bluetooth. So I'm going to be putting a Bluetooth in here very soon i've got to order some parts off amazon to make it work but that's been the only downer to it i'm not a big radio fan but i do want to have a bluetooth so i can use my phone and i needed to get some kind of mount for my phone so i'll have a gps and all all right guys i'll talk to y'all later
what she said. <laughs> Your fire. Yeah.